I see a fish floating through there. Water realm. No, I was looking you at the fish. Be sure, but there seems to be something odd about this fish's swimming patterns. Yeah, I noticed it's going in and out it of the wall. To be another part of the rock wall. Sinewy seaweed wavers in the ocean tide. Oh, look at that! It's a fake! The western wall is but an illusion. You easily pass through it into a series of caves and tunnels on the other side. You're foodie! It's, it's black in here. You cannot see a thing. You'll need to find some sort of light source before you are able to proceed. Oh. It's pitch black in here. Okay. It's pitch black, so I'm gonna go look for something to stop that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Go. Go, Graham. Go, Graham! Oh, no worries. Like I said in the past, I kind of look around and know what I'm doing. To some extent. Ooh, look, fishies! There is nothing of interest lying on the sea. I was grabbing the sea! I need to get close. To it. You are really picky, Mr. Narrator Man. These small luminescent fish are feeding on a strange looking plant. But either way, this looks like a There is nothing of it. Uh, there is there is I'm you lean over and pick some of the grass which grows in between the rocks. Alright. Nothing. Okay. This item cannot be I wasn't trying to. You remove the cloth from the bottle. Huh, there's a cloth in there. Interesting. Alright, let's see. Dink. Dink. You stuff the sugary grass into the empty bottle and push it all the way to the bottom. Alright, this should help. You place the baited bottle on the seabed, close to the luminescent fish. Good. Jump in. Good A few job. glowing fish are now swimming around inside the bottle. Cool. I'm gonna grab that bottle then. You take the bottle. Yeah, it gets me a shiny bottle now. So now I'm gonna head back down and go back to that door. Well, the fake wall, that's totally a phony. You're a phony. You're a big phony. It's not nice to be a phony, but I guess it's uh, fine, whatever. Haha, -ha, now that I actually have the item needed, Seabiscuit and I can continue forward. It's very dark in here. And I think this is just basically a straight path to wherever you need to go, so. I pray I do not get lost, but it's a possibility. What's this? A large opaque shell seemingly blocks a tunnel to the north. Whatever lies in that direction must be very important. Huh. I'm gonna have to find my way out for that. Can I pry it open with my sword? Stay here, Sea Biscuit. You slide your blade through a small gap in the door and pull with all your might. It is difficult handling your weapon underwater, and you realize that combat will not be an option. No, it won't be. So if it ever comes to that, you are in big trouble. You're in big trouble, mister! As you open the door, ample light floods into the underwater cave and you are now able to make your way around without the glowing fish. Okay, so we can release them out into the wild. That's good. We don't want to, we don't want any problems. I'm going to save here. Oh, hello. 
guess we got our answer that yes, the Sharkies did in fact steal the trident. Oh, no, the seahorse has followed you. Let's hope it doesn't give your presence away. God damn it, sea biscuits! Safely concealed behind the remnants of a stone archway. This is fortunate, as the king of the Sharkies is also here. Aside from his menacing appearance, he also seems to be in a very bad mood. I do not understand. Ugh. Work for me. You're creepy. Is it not written the trident's power can only be wielded by those of goodwill? Well, is it not? The king's aides nod fervently. And do I not possess the greatest will in this kingdom? No one can best me in battle. My resolve is unshakable. No amount of bleeding can dissuade me from slaughtering my enemies. Does this not signify that my will is the best there is? I think you misunderstand the what it's saying. The aides seem all too willing to agree. Then why does it not work? See, that's not what it means by good you watch will. As the Sharky King taps four shells in order around the arch. Okay. Now the fun part, remembering that. So it was uh, four, two, two, it six. Not. Tomorrow we invade the Mer People's territory. For without the Trident's power. That old fool Neptune and his weakling followers will fall before our might. Goodwill. Ha! Mine is superior to all. As he leaves, the Sharky King motions for his guards to remain. Well. I guess we're gonna have to get that trident back. Uh, I'm not gonna save here, but I'm gonna need a distraction. See, Biscuit, I'm so sorry. Having an idea, you approach your somewhat reluctant steed and slap him hard on the back. Look at him go. The guards are momentarily distracted. Now is your chance. Hope they don't eat him. Okay, so I'm over here, Graham. We all need to. Play around with this. Okay. Oh, I can actually skip this if I wanted to. Okay. Alright, see here. Oh, god damn it, I waited too long. Hi! <laughs> this sort of thing at school. Okay, I did it way too slow. I gotta be more fast. Whoops! Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll catch up to you when I do this right. Got it. I suggest you grab that trident fast there, Graham. Without delay, you snatch up the trident before the guards return to their posts. Go, 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 go! It appears as if the guards are losing interest in the seahorse. You had better get out of here quickly. You don't have to tell me twice. Go, 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 Graham. Go, 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 go! Made it! Oh no, the seahorse has followed you all the way back to the secret entrance. The guards are sure to discover you now. All right, well, guess I'll jump on the seahorse because he's way faster. You remount the seahorse. Let's go out of here. Your seahorse glides onward, flicking its little tail faster than ever. You grip the reins tightly, glancing nervously over your shoulder every so often to check for pursuing sentries. As you make distance, your anxiety melts into relief. But it is to be short-lived. I would say so, yes. Falling is an arcade sequence. Do you wish to play through it? Sure, why not? Oh. Okay, I was supposed to dodge that. Whoops. It's fine, I got this. Okay, the, the rocks are still out of the way. Uh, 
Okay, we're still good. I'm still good. So this isn't too bad. I just gotta keep an eye out on where the, uh... The rocks appear. And so far, they really are pretty easy to dodge. Okay, you we're good. Light at the end of the tunnel, you quickly make a dash for the exit. Whew! Got out of that one. As you emerge, you realize you have only seconds before the guards come out after you. And even if you could outrun them, you're sure the commotion would attract the sentry's attention. Then you'd be in real trouble. Well... Wow. a strange voice in your head. He of noble and goodwill. Royal Trident, thou may wield. Ah, see? Zap. You wonder what that did, if anything at all. Oh, well, that works. Oh. <laughs> they hit the wall, literally. So that's what that's supposed to do. So yeah. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Sharky Shark did not do the right thing. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh well, it's fine. I got through what I needed. It's fine. And now, to head back to the king. Doop a doop, under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter, take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day, out in the sun, they slave away. What with the boat and full time to floating under the sea. Except the sharkies. They're now probably permanently dead now because they're sealed up there. Let's face it. Unless there's another way out, they're they're kind of screwed. We might have just killed somebody. The trident guides you back to Neptune's realm. Now the walkthrough did, but okay, you know, take credit for that. You approach the king. He smiles and graciously accepts his trident from you. Then he calls everyone to attention. Okay. To commemorate the return of my trident and to honor King Graham's success, I hereby call for a celebration. Woo! The celebration lasts for some time. You eat, drink, and have a merry time with many of the merpeople. <laughs> I get After it. A few hours, the festivities wind down, and you finally have a chance to speak with Neptune alone. Finally. The terms of nature represent the three stages of life. You have some amazing pecs, Neptune. And thus, what I have given you is the first of three. Second is the growth gem, or air gem, for air sustains life and permits it to grow. Fair. How might I find the growth gem? I know only that its location is as far above the surface of the land as we are below it. Ah. Beyond that, I cannot aid you. Well, thanks anyway. A smirk crosses Neptune's face momentarily. You might say that air is not exactly my element. Hey. You decide that the beverages consumed were to blame for that one. Aw, oh, that was a fun and one. third gem, your majesty? Third is the death gem. Ah. The completion of life and the natural order of things. The Door of Destiny understands this now, as did the ancients who imprisoned the soul within. Ooh. As for that gem's location, I had hoped you would have no business venturing to the castle. Kalima was once ruled from that place, but sadly her people have not seen their lord for quite some time. As the librarian told but us. If you please, I would prefer not to dwell upon this subject. 
You have done me a great service this day, and I thank you. Good luck, King Graham, and good speed. I guess God doesn't exist in this world. That's fine. <laughs> You depart the underwater kingdom and head back towards the surface. Look, we got it! What an incredible experience. You are certain you will never forget the adventure you just had. Additionally, you have acquired one of the gems. As you resurface, you realize that the magic which allowed you to breathe underwater has now subsided. Aww. That would have been so helpful, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Gem one get. <laughs> Yay! We got the first one. We got the birth gem, the water gem. We got two more to go before we can go and find our beloved girl in the tower. Can we do it? I guess we will just have to find out in the next installment. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fond farewell.